okay let's get started so let's go to new bank deposit since we're depositing the funds select what bank account you are depositing the funds into the date that the funds were deposited I'm gonna select my name in this example now if you notice it says customer if you've worked on QuickBooks desktop you'll notice that it'll give you options for customer names vendor names employee names and other QuickBooks online only has customer vendor and employee so it does not have other so you will have to choose customer or vendor uh, for your own profile under account we want to select the contributions account uh, I'm working on an S Corp if you're a sole proprietor uh, you would be using owner contributions if you're an LLC it'll be member contributions and uh, S Corp uh, be shareholder contributions you want to write a description and then we'll do the five thousand dollars written in the description so now we have the amount payment method was a check check one two three why the funds were deposited and who from and simple just like that all set so now when we go to reports and we open the balance sheet and we scroll from the top to the bottom we'll see that the shareholder contributions has increased to five thousand dollars so it's not accounted for it's simple just like that